Hey guys, Richard with GunsHolstersAndGear.com here. And uh, we're following up the uh, drop test we just did a few minutes ago. Uh, the two meter drop test, six drops on the hard concrete. Now we're out here doing the uh, water resistance test. As you can see, I've got the Streamlight 1AA flashlight here. It is wet just because I tossed it in here to make sure everything was gonna hold right. But what we're gonna do is we've got the uh, timer here. We've got one meter of paracord length. This is rated for waterproof uh, at one meter for 30 minutes. So like I said, we did the drop test. Now we're gonna do one meter. We've got a salt water pool. We're gonna run the timer. We'll see how it does. Everything is nice and tight on there. And we'll go ahead and start the timer. All right, let's see in 30 minutes. All right, guys, you can see it's been just slightly over 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and pull up the light, take a look. And we can see it's still running. So that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and dry this off. See if we got any water intrusion on the inside. Now, if I uh, understand the ANSI uh, specifications correctly, water is allowed to intrude on the inside as long as it does not impair the functioning of the light. So a drop or two of water inside is not going to uh, make this a fail. Hopefully you can see that uh, that light is still running just fine. I don't see any water intrusion into the lens area of this. Let's open up the tail cap here. I don't see any water intrusion. Slide the battery out. Everything feels dry. I don't see any water inside this at all. There's no water intrusion in here. So it looks like this is a pass all the way around. Uh, at this point, you've seen the run time, you've seen the drop test, you've seen the water test. Everything seems to be working fine. The switch definitely goes between the three uh, modes. Uh, this definitely this definitely matches what Streamlight says it'll do. Uh, I'm impressed. For a uh, small, inexpensive light like this, the drop test, the water test, this is uh, this is pretty solid. So this is definitely a pass.